So we're coming to the, uh, the, the last parts of this tutorial now, and I just want to show you one more node, uh, which is a really useful node, and that's the Blend Colors node. Basically what this will do is take two separate sets of values and allow you to blend between the two. So as you can imagine, this is ideal for creating switches, um, or for, you, you know, if you're setting up um, an IKFK switch sort of system, it's great for blending between the IK and FK joints, you know, so, uh, you know, it's really, really useful. Um, so let's just have a look at uh, putting it into action in this scene. Um, now, first, I've had to make some tweaks to the way to the hierarchy of the scene. Um, and this is what caused a few little problems previously, because I'd put them in to demonstrate the sticky lips probably a bit earlier than I needed to. But anyway, um, we're here now. So basically we have our driver locators here and you can see that I've put them, if I just zoom in a bit so I can see a bit better, right, turn off the mesh. So we have our upper lip locators, corner lip locators and lower lip call, uh, locators. Um, and the pivot points for those are in exactly the same place as the jaw. This is just so that the lips will rotate around the same center as the jaw does. There's also a locator which is parent constrained to the jaw itself. And that is just so that we get sort of world space rotations from, you know, on an axis exactly the same as the groups. If you see, if I switch between the two, the axes are exactly the same. So that just means, so essentially what we want is when the jaw rotates, we want that locator to follow it and then they're the values that we're going to be using. So we have our main groups and these groups are also grouped underneath a couple of extra controls. So we have uh, this lips control. So that will allow us to move the lips around and animate as he's uh, talking. And then there are underneath a sort of a global mouth control. And you can see that moves the whole jaw and the lips as well. So again, it's just adding in those extra layers of control, which will give us a lot more flexibility when we come to animate. Right, so let's wire these up. Let's go back to our node editor. Let's just clear this out. So we know we want the lower lip to be controlled, so we'll add that in. And I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So what we want the lower lip to do, we want it to either follow the rotations of the lip control. So we'll add that in, our lip control. Get rid of that. So it will either follow the rotations of the lip control or it will follow the rotations of the jaw locator. So we can add that in. So there we have what's driving it. We have the lower lip control there. So now what we want this lower lip to do is blend between those rotations or those ro rotations. So we can use a blend colors node. What we'll do is we will say lips control rotate can be color one. Just re just change that. And the jaw lo locator rotations can go into, let's just open that up. Oh, that's the wrong node, that's why. Um, so, and that can go into color two, and that will just come through automatically. We can see here, We've got these little yellow uh, marks which indicate that they are connected. So now all we need to do is select our output and pipe that into the rotation of the lower lip group, like so. And what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to also bring in the upper lip group. And this is just going to, in fact, 
I'll just come back to this later. I will leave that for now. So we have the lips control and the jaw locator going into the blend colors node. So we've got color one and color two. And this node will allow us to blend between the lips control or the jaw locator control uh, rotations. And the lower lip group is gonna follow one or the other. So if I just open the mouth now, as you can see, the mouth is opening, but it's only opening a certain degree. And that's because if we select our blend colors node, this is set to 0 0.5. If I set it to zero, it's not being, well, essentially, if we think of it in terms of the control, if we set it to zero, the sticky lips control, which we will connect it to over here, is set to zero, so sticky lips is disabled. If we set it to one, sticky lips is enabled. And there, as you can see, we can rotate the bottom jaw. With sticky lips on, the lips aren't going anywhere. As you can see, there is a slight problem when we rotate the other control which it's using, the lip control. The upper lip group isn't following exact the exact rotations, but we can fix that again. Like I say, I brought this in. We can just directly connect the uh, rotations of this to the upper lip rotations, and that's just locked that in place there. So now we can move those lips around. Maybe he's having a good chew of a meal like so, and that's fine. And we can use the blending attribute to enable or disable it. So now we can load in our sticky lips uh, controller. And what we could do is say the translate Y then goes into the blender node. If we move that up, we can see the translate Y has a value of two, but we only want it to go to one. So we can add a multiply divide node in between those to halve that number. You see the blend color only really wants to go to, from zero to one, but I control the Y goes from zero to two. It's only, it's only like that because we wanted it to travel that distance. We could make it just go to one, but then when you're animating, it's not moving far enough. So all we need to do is go to translate translate y we'll just put that into input x output x then goes into the blender we'll just disconnect that one output x. nope there must be a setting I'm missing somewhere with this uh, extension to that's hiding some of these values once they're connected I'll have to dig that out later basically so the output X then goes into the blender and then we just need to remember to halve that value so we'll set that to 0.5 and now the blender will go is set to 1 so even though the control is 2 because we've added the multiply divide node in, the blender is limited to one. So now if we close that down, let's just hide the joints. So, oop. there we have sticky lips on, there we have sticky lips off. You can rotate the jaw, like so. And just using this control here, just piped in. I mean, obviously it doesn't look very intuitive me rotating the joint, but since the last video I had to disconnect the jaw, but we can just reconnect that back up just exactly like we did in the last video. So that's how to use
the blend colors node to add in a, a, a slider switch uh, uh, for the sticky lips. So that's basically it. And you could uh, you could now go in and use the same sort of technique to wire up some of these other controls. So like the corner lips, for example, you could use a blend colors to blend the corner joints positions, you know, so they're in the middle of the mouth. When the jaw opens, let's just turn the sticky lips off. So when the jaw opens, you could use that attribute to control where this joint is it, relative to where the, when the mouth's open and closed. You know, there's lots you can do uh, using not only the uh, blend colors node, but all the other nodes I've discussed um, previously. So what, what I will do is, what I'm gonna do now is load in a fully rigged face, and then we can just have a look around, a general look at all the uh, controls in action. So here we have the head and it's fully rigged. So, you know, the eyes are moving. Um, and just like I did, uh, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, the eyelid joints are moving with the eyes just by using those joints. As I said previously, if I select, that's it. If I select the root of those three eyelid joints, you can see all we have is a multiplier divide node, which is taking the eye rotation joint and just halving it. Simple as that. And what I've also done is just added in another attribute um, onto the eye controls to edit how much those joints move. And that's connected, as you can see down here, to the right eyelid and the left eyelid multiply divide node. So if I set that to zero, the eyelids aren't gonna move. If I set it to one, they are gonna be stuck to the eyeball. You know, if I set it to two, you know, they'll move twice as much as the eyeball. So you get the idea, and that's just nice to have that extra control in there for the animators. Basically, all it is is just connected to these values here, which are what's uh, what the eye rotation is being multiplied by. So we've got all these extra controls, you know, the clamp, which was the M shape, N M blend shape, as you can see there. That's just clamping at either side. And again, just a multiply divide node, you know, just saying, when this attribute is, uh, well, it's basically taking the value from this attribute of minus two, piping it through a multiply divide node so that it triggers the blend shape, which goes from zero to one. And that's it, no other nodes involved. You know, a lot of these other controls are set up exactly the same with just a multiply divide node. The eyelids, again, a multiply divide node, which basically takes the value of that translate y, which is two. We know the blend shape only goes from zero to one. So it's got a 0 0.5 here. Now ignore some of these other ones here, as you can see, what I've done is tried to group some multiply divide nodes so they're shared by controls rather than adding separate ones. So in this instance, we've got the lower and upper eyelids both using the same nodes. So there we can move the eyelids up and down. So I still, like I say, I still need to just tweak that blend shape just to pull that eyelid out a little bit more, but that's not a big problem. You know, at the end of the day, we could use these controls to fix it by just pulling it out. Obviously that's too much, but you know, you get the idea. We've got the flexibility there. You know, we've got uh, the eyebrows, the cheeks, you know, which we set up earlier with the uh, um, joints and the locators. Again, the puff of the cheek, just another multiply divide node, just triggering that blend shape. You know, simple as that.
we have the corner of the mouth. Now obviously this has all these different conditions in. I've also added in a blend, you know, using the uh, blend colors node so that we can give the animators more options. So let's, at the moment, we can just make it smile, it can frown, you know, wide mouth. When it goes in, like so, he puckers his lips. But then I've added in this extra blend so that you can blend between the pucker or an O shape. You know, just giving the animators a bit more flexibility. You can see there we can pull that around like that. Got the jaw all rigged and ready just as we showed you before. Now the lip compensate values down here, they're what I mentioned um, a couple of videos ago. And these middle joints, these middle controls here, what the lip compensate compensate will do is blend between them either being them either controlling the joints or the blend shapes. If you remember those blend shapes we added in um, for the mouth. So at the moment it's con controlled by joints. You can pull that around like so. You know you can move it over, you can move it in and out. If we turn up the compensate it's switching to the blend shape so we should get a much nicer shape you know so you, you've got the choice of either there if the mouth shape isn't getting right by using lip concert compensate off you know you can you can switch to the blend shapes and again this is just using the blend colors node just to blend between the two values so that's probably you know it for the uh, That's probably it for this tutorial. The whole point of the tutorial wasn't to show in depth how to rig a face. It was basically to illustrate um, how to use these utility nodes to help you rig a face. You know, just how easy they are to set up and just the amount of control they can give you rather than using set driven keys. Because I don't know about you, but Set driven keys can take a while to set up and then if you have to edit them later it can be a bit of a pain, you know. So but with these, all you have are these utility nodes, and they're dead easy to edit. Um you can build controls on top of these, you know, just like I have with this eyelid influence here. You know, that control controls this value here, you know, and so on and so forth. Um so yeah, I'm definitely using utility nodes for all my rigging, you know, and I have been for a while now. Um, and I've also shown a few tips as to how you can approach certain areas of rigging, you know, like with the blend shapes and how to set up the sticky lips and, you know, other things like that. Um, you know, with the sticky lips, you could even, rather than have a group controlling all of the lower lips, you could have them at joints, you could have them controlling them individually so you get the, you know, sort of, the, the mouth closing gradually um, but yeah I mean these this is just showing the basic way to set up the face rig using those nodes to create a rig which is controlled by both blend shapes and joints um, so now that we've got these foundations what we can do is build upon them to make more complicated rigs you know maybe a more realistic you know face uh, or something like that. Um, so I think that's uh, the tut tutorial done. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed making it and I will see you on the next one.